Bonjour everyone, Pentif here today for a new video in which I'm gonna show you how I turn this into this. Hi everyone, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Personally for me it's the case as I managed to get my hands on a limited edition of the LEGO Superstar Destroyer, something I dreamed about as a kid that I'm finally able to buy. For the little story, I bought it to a guy on a reselling site and unlike other brand new LEGO sets, this one came with all the pieces mixed. It contains more than 3000 pieces and I had to sort them apart before starting the build. And as you can see, it truly made a mess in the whole apartment for three days at least, as it's the time it took me to finish creating it. For the little story, this set was available in 2011 and was not seen again yet. It counted among the rarest Star Wars LEGO sets you can get, and if you got yours in 2011, you would have probably bought it for $400 and you would sell it today for minimum double the price. So yeah, definitely a good deal. Price apart, the joy and pride you get from creating such a massive beast is just out of this world. It's actually my first ever UCS Star Wars set and being able to combine my love for Star Wars and my love for LEGO made this whole experience a religious one. Not only is this set extremely detailed, it's also really big. I'll slide a picture of me holding it once it's finished so you can see by yourself. But yeah. It's truly impressive to think that the guy at LEGO was paid to design this, but also make it in a way that allows gravity not to tear it apart, something the original starships from the saga didn't have to work with. By the way, I want to apologize for the quality of this video. I'm currently moving out and I don't have access to all my filming stuff. Therefore, I had to film this with my phone because I was too excited to do this video that I could not wait any longer to share with you. My patience for Legos is too strong. But do not worry, I equipped myself with some tripods to be able, for the upcoming Lego video, to do a time lapse of the construction. Because as I watched those videos as well, I know how satisfying it is for the viewer to see a whole Lego constructed in less than 5 minutes. Now, going back to the build, it truly hypnotized me to the point that I started building at 8am and finished at midnight every day for 3 days straight. Do I regret anything? Absolutely not. And I really hope that you guys also like these kind of videos because I'm more than happy to be able to propose such content. The kid I was would be proud of the adult I became. Now is a good time to talk about some Star Wars lore and why this starship specifically is my favorite one. Let's add some context. When I was younger, my dad, a big Star Wars fan, introduced me to the trilogy. As soon as I saw the regular Star Destroyer, I felt in love. I just couldn't get over the impressive design of that thing. But when the Super Star Destroyer Executor by its name appeared during the movie, as a kid I was shocked. It was the first time I saw a 19 km long ship and even if it sounds absurd as an adult, when you're a kid, goddamn, is it impressive. For the record, this ship could hold 280,000 crew members and enough forces to attack a whole planet and win without sweating. That's the power of the dark side for y'all. Anyway, I've nothing else to say, I'm gonna let you enjoy the video and specifically the build, but right before you exit, make sure to tell me in the comments if you enjoyed and what you would change beside the construction time lapse that will be available on upcoming builds when I'm done moving out. As always, many thanks for the support. I love you guys.